welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining in. Now take a seat and watch me get ready. Today we are going to be doing another one of my BS makeup tutorials. Yes, another makeup tutorial. But what we're going to be doing today is also going to be simple. I'm trying to keep it simple for now because this is how I'm learning. I want you guys to learn as well. I don't want to like jump from like a simple eyeshadow look to like trying to do something hella crazy because <laughs> I don't want you guys to be like whoa 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 <laughs> can you like kick it down a notch I'm, I'm still trying to learn here you know just because there's girls out there that freaking draw the whole damn freeway on their face doesn't mean all of us know how to do that <laughs> okay you guys so we're gonna go ahead and begin this makeup look that we're doing today uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start with applying concealer to our eyelid I'm going to show you guys a photo of the look we're supposed to be following. So let's go ahead and get started with applying our concealer. For concealer, I'm using this one. It's the Tarte uh, Shape and Tape. And um, usually I do apply the Paint Pot from MAC, but today I decided just to use concealer for my eyeshadow. Let's see if it gives it a different look. If it grabs differently, I don't know, we'll find out. I'm just gonna apply like a little bit because look at this, as y'all can see, a little goes a long way with this product. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out into my whole eye area. So now that we have product on both eyes, we're just gonna go ahead and set them. To set my eyelids, I'm going to go ahead and use a color from my Naked 2 palette. You guys, this palette is so old. And sadly, <laughs> I hardly use it. But uh, we're going to go in with the shade Foxy, which is that bone color right here, uh, just to set our eyelid. And the only reason I'm using it from this one is because I want to use this palette. <laughs> Give it as much use as possible. I don't want to throw it away without using it at least 20 times. <laughs> done setting the eyes now we're gonna go ahead and start applying the eyeshadow to our lips first you start by taking a sip of your red bull i love my red bull no there's no vodka in here it's literally just a red bull should have said this by doing our makeup i always have my brushes here i don't i don't ever know what brush i want to use that's how fucking of an indecisive bitch I am. So to start with this look, I'm going to go ahead and use this scope brush from Morphe. I always say this brush is from Morphe and it's not. It's actually from Crown Pro or Pro Crown. Either or. I got it at Ruby's Makeup Academy. But uh, I love this shit. It works well. Okay. So to get started, we're going to uh, use some of the browns. I know you guys, my palette is dirty as hell. Excuse that. I don't, I don't give a fuck. We're going to start by going in with the like light browns just to create like that, you know, light brown look up there. Whatever. Okay. So I'm going to start by going in with, with this color right here. This one is called Crimsicle. So with this color, I'm just going to be going uh, windshield wipe remover. <laughs> I'm going to dip into that color once more. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a clean brush. Same one as this one, but this time it is a Morphe brush. And it is the Morphe M433 where we're going to be using. We're going to go ahead and go in. I'm going to mix this brown right here. You see this one and this one together. With those two browns that I grabbed, we're going to go like in the same area. And we're just going to like raise our eyebrow a little bit. Just to like stretch it out. Just to make sure that we don't go above that line. And you know, we don't want to take the shadow too high up. <laughs> Trust me, blend away and like, 
it'll seriously fix a lot of problems in your life when it comes to makeup of course so i'm gonna grab another clean brush this time i am gonna spray it a little bit with regular water now i'm gonna go in with like deeper brown i'm gonna go in with this brown right here and probably this one, and I'm going to be mixing a little bit of this one as well in together. I really hope you guys do find this eyeshadow look easy. I'm going to go in with, I'm going to be using this brown right here mixed in with this brown down here. Did I show you guys the right ones that I'm using? This one and this one. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna, you know, we're tapping a little bit right here in this little corner. And the rest, we're bringing it on into this crease. Let's see. Do you guys see how that's starting to kind of look? We're not done though. We're this part, don't worry about it right now. We're going to fix it to make it look a little bit more rounded out right now. I hope I can fix it. <laughs> now that that's like semi more blended, we're going to go ahead and go on with the brush that we were using at first with that icicle, no wait, what was it? Crimsicle color. And let's just um, go ahead and blend it out up here. <laughs> going back to our Jaclyn Hill palette and we're going to go in with chip and buns. <laughs> we're going to go in with chip and buns. Okay, now that I went ahead and applied the concealer just to that little area where we're going to be applying some glitter, I'm going to just blend out the surroundings. For the center of my lid, I'm just going to use this color right here. It's like kind of a penny color. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin applying it. This part right here, what we're going to do is we're going to blend it out. Okay, so now that we have some shimmer on there, on there, we're just going to go ahead and wet our brush again. We're going to dip our brush into Jack's and we're just going to um, apply a little bit. Okay, now let's just go ahead and blend all this out together. different brush so we can go ahead and clean my brow bone area to clean up the brow bone area we're going to use the morphe m561 <music> For this, I am going to dab my brush a little bit. We're going to be using the C515 from Pro Crown. And I went ahead and dipped it in a light and beam. They're like literally my favorite for my dabbing highlight area. So it's this one and this one. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my highlight to my brow bone. We're not going to be wearing lashes today just because... I wet my other ones yesterday accidentally. And since we're not wearing lashes with this eyeshadow look, we're just gonna apply coats and coats and coats and coats and coats of mascara. Okay, you guys, so I'm done with this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this eye now. I'm just gonna like speed it up a little bit so the video won't be as long because we all know long ass videos 
or boring AF. this brush again I don't even know what brush I'm using for the glitter I honestly think I got it at some swami oh yeah I had got it at an outdoor swami rhodium <music> now that we went ahead and applied that like glittery color to our eyelids we're just gonna go ahead and apply more brown so it won't look so packed up like that. We're just going to like apply a little bit of brown and we're going to blend it inward right here. And we're going to do the same thing to the ends just so that it won't look like we have a lot of shimmer going on. And so we won't take away from the brown. <music> When I don't have nails on, because when I have nails on, it's freaking impossible. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just clean my face so that we can go ahead and begin with the rest of our face. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the hair from my face so that we can go ahead and um, prime our face. I feel like if I just said face so much. <coughs> oh my god, I'm joking. And now we're going to apply some primer to our face. I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. <laughs> Breaking out so bad. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and apply the professional just to like right here, right here, and like pay attention. So I'm gonna grab this right here and I'm gonna pour my two foundations. I'm using Estee Lauder and Mac so they mix them together. Let's see what that looks like. What else? No weight, no product. We're just gonna go ahead and apply our concealer and we're only gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of it right here, right here, on the nose, on our cupid's bow and on our <laughs> This is like literally one of my favorites and like about the only one I use. Let's go ahead and cut our contour now. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and just dust off the excess product. I don't like to leave it on there for so long because I don't want to look super like powdery. Okay, before we completely dust off the excess product, we're gonna go ahead and apply um, some eyeshadow to our bottom lash line. For our bottom lash line, we're gonna use this color right here. Now let's just go ahead and dust off this product. We're gonna go ahead and apply our blush and for the blush I'm using margin from Mac. It's such a pretty color you guys. I love it. This is like my favorite blush. From Mac. Okay, so now that we're done applying more mascara to our eyelashes and now we went ahead and finished applying our um, What's that thing called? Uh, blush <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and apply our highlighter. For highlighter today, I'm gonna be using the Daisy Danger palette. I haven't used it in a long time, and um, <sighs> I'm trying to be a big fan of it. <laughs> landed on them so this is the final look you guys I have to go ahead and you know wet my hair a little bit <laughs> since i had it up in a bun you know if you got curly hair you know what i mean what do you think honestly i love it i don't even want to take it off if there is any other look you guys would like to see me do let me know. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, and if you guys did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And make sure to share and leave your comments down below.